Well, I don't think the plastic Dollarama bag could be any more appropriate for this type of video. Today's video is on this guy on the right, this little blue uh, Chinese crap, cheap dollar store plastic. No, I didn't. No, I didn't purchase these from the dollar store. I just thought I, like I said, I thought this would be appropriate enough for this kind of uh, video. This one I know you guys already recognize. You've seen it in two of my videos already, I believe. I think I've only done two, but the first, they, they're uh, pretty popular videos. You seen let me just the tripod and get our dollarama in frame there. The video I did on that was. It's the most popular video on my channel, the very first video I did on this TV. And it's kind of why I'm doing this video as a thank you to the, pe to the viewers of this channel and the fans of this channel that stop by and check this, check this kind of, the uh, people in the YouTube tech community who stop by and uh, check out these videos. I thank you for that. I can't believe the original video is hit, what is it, 6.2k 6 views. I haven't hit near that since. I don't know why, but for some reason that's the most popular video. People seem to love the videos that I do on this, so I thought I was at the local Goodwill shop. The, what was it? A couple weeks ago, maybe more. And I don't usually go in there. There's a lot of crap stuff in there. You can find some really good uh, antiques in there and stuff, but it's, it's very, it's one of those things where it's, in most, you, you you find in most thrift stores and goodwill shops and second hand shops, flea market stuff like that. You know, there's a lot of hand me down uh, late 90s, early 2000s. Especially in the electronic section, there's a lot of hand me down late 90s, early 2000s electronic pieces of crap, for example. Here's an EOL. Uh, I didn't EOL 11 camera, not not a, here's an EOL VCR, this was a couple, couple of years back, or more than a couple of years back, I got this for, uh, just used as a VCR for test subject when I do these TV videos, and it stopped working and it went to crap, I didn't, couldn't care about it, I got a ton of VCRs, this one was just a crap, what was it, Memorex model, MVR 2031, Anyways, what I was trying to say is I found this at our local Goodwill shop for, is the price on top, twelve fifty. I don't know why it says twelve fifty each, as if they have, if this, as if they had more than one. I don't know, maybe there was another one there I didn't see, but I just grabbed, I grabbed this one, and I, I just grabbed the one I saw, which is this little blue, it looks more turquoise uh, in person. Uh, crap TV. You guys all remember the, like I said, you guys all remember the black one. This is almost the identical build in the ins identical chassis build to this. So this is basically the same TV as the black one, but the this is the mini personal television with AM, FM radio campers edition with your uh, little compass, little Chinese thermostat. And flashlight on the back. I thought that made it. Look, I thought that made it just you know, makes it so much, so much cooler than the black mini personal television with AM FM radio. Because why not? It's the Campers edition. Uh, I googled this. I guess they don't go by model number. They go by style number. Because this is styling, man. Uh, Claybrook style. Hold that in the damn frame there. Claybrook style, number 13131. And I Googled this last night. And there was a couple, I'll put the, you'll see the pictures up here now. Uh, a couple of different colors. This model comes in a couple of, couple of different colors. Some of them I thought were cooler than the blue and silver. Uh, one of them was like a burgundy and yellow kind of one. And then there was an orange one. There was a red and blue, I think. Red and dark, red and navy blue. So on and so forth, you know, there's a, pink, a bright pink one too. And so, uh, I thought we'd take a look at this and explore this 
Campers Edition Mini Personal Television with AM FM Radio in today's video. Another thing I wanted to address, by the way, is I know I've been away for a while, and I uploaded a two-minute trailer, and some of you are probably confused. Oh, you know, I just dropped a two-minute trailer, and then I go away for, like, I think I was away for, what, almost a month first, then I dropped a two-minute trailer, and I've been almost away for a month again. I've been working on filming a lot of other longer real, real long ass videos that are real long uh, in-depth projects that take me a while and I've been, one of them is the is a film project that I'm working on that's what the trailer is for frequency modulation on my introduction childhood memories of how I got into the radio TV hobby and of the FM AM not AM what am I talking about FM Trans transmitters, CBC local CBC transmitters on FM that are we call it the CBC tower here, less than a mile away from here, and I can literally walk to it from the house here. Okay, this camera viewfinder is always very deceiving. It's what like a three inch mon three a uh, three inch viewfinder electronic viewfinder. On the Sony Handycam, I don't know the year in the model, but I started using it recently, and it shoots in 1080p, and it looks really, the shot looks really good right now in the viewfinder. But when I take the SDR, the SDR, the SD card out of the camera and pl plug it into the computer and look at the video on full screen, uh, the picture seems a little unfocused and blurry. The video, so I apologize if that's what it looks like. I haven't done the editing yet, so. I don't know, but it looks good. Hopefully it doesn't look too... fuzzed out. That's what it likes to do. But, uh, anyways... Here's the... I don't have any power to it. Funny is, the one thing I remember is when I was a little kid... and I... and I would, uh, go... To, go to our local Dollarama. I don't know if they call it... Do they call it... The, I don't... When I watch, uh, Dollars people that do dollar store videos that that are based in the US they don't call it Dollarama they just call it dollar store is that what it's called down there just dollar store or do you guys call it Dollarama I know we here in Canada I call it Dollarama we got Dollarama and Dollar Tree I don't know if Dollarama is Canadian I know Dollar Tree is there we go I think I remember seeing these at Dollar Tree once upon a time too when I was real little these are the capacitors I installed when I uh, put this back together and those are the the, the original crashes I put back in I took them out for another for that uh, monitor and I was gonna put this back together just to make a short video on it and so I just tacked those back in I didn't do the best of soldering the best soldering job but hey it worked I got the TV back to working again so uh, and so you even put like this glue, this glue, it's almost like a hot glue or a super glue, and, and then plus like, like get frame some sort of like wax, looks like they dripped wax, the stuff that usually drip over like yolk and transformers and stuff, and they just dripped it all over the CRT cap. Uh, you can see here I just did a little bit of a hack job repair here. Of this, the on um, the anode lead of the CRT, the anode lead of the CRT from the high high voltage flyback transformer. I just crimped down one of these connectors on there, and it worked fine. This is from another TV. The other one that I had got destroyed too because of its quality. This is a little too new for me. I don't like this kind of, and I'm not a big biggest fan of this of this newer stuff that was made. What these were made up right up until the DTV. DTV uh, trans analog to DTV transition, which was in what 2009, and then we didn't lose. We yeah we lost our analog here locally in the, lost our anal, most of our analog here in Alberta in 2009, and then we still had from Shaw and I think a few other uh, cable companies uh, analog cable that didn't go off the air till they didn't shut that off till 2016. Here's the radio part. You can see same, same, almost same everything. Same tuner, same, same deal with the radio. 
they got that same, I don't know, if I'm thinking that's a filter, that little yellow thing that says SFU. Most all of these have that little S SFU for, what does that say, for little controls on the back. You got vertical hold, brightness, contrast, your DC 12 volts in, your charge, so if you have those, if you have rechargeable lithium ion batteries in there, I think it's D cells, I can't tell because I can't get that. That's the, it's like the world's hardest, it's like the, it's like the world's toughest battery case. You can't get the, I still haven't been able to get the damn thing off, it's so tight on there. But I, this is, I couldn't really care. There's a flashlight on the back, there's this little 9 volt bulb, 300 milliamps. It's CRT. The date is April 24, 2003. What did I say that one was? January of 03, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. January of 03. Uh, I think the last time I heard, I think that I've heard that these are still manufactured in some places. From someone's video. Someone, it was a guy from England. Uh, that said that, I think, I think he said where he is, these are still manufact manufactured in some places, which kind of surprises me, because who the hell is going to watch a black and white CRT t television set in 2020? Here's the, uh, thermometer, by the way, it's just 20 degrees, just 20 degrees Celsius, I don't know if that's, it's just 20 degrees Celsius, I don't know if that's accurate. That's pretty pretty close. Here's our Chinese crap plastic compass. I don't I don't know if it I don't know if that was a mistake done in manufacturing, but it looks like it's inside there crooked. You think the It's crooked, but it's it's accurate. It still works. And that'll be the north wall, where the shortwave radios are. Right here's the little flashlight on the back, or as they like to call it. Okay, so here's the flashlight on the back, or as they like to call it, the uh, they call it the torch. Apparently, I don't know what kind of marketing that is. There's a light, not very, not overly bright, it looks a lot brighter on camera. It's not very damn good, it's a real crap. Chinese quality ass flashlight, I could shut the lights off and show you here, it's not very... Well, it's just, it's, there's still sunlight coming through, so you wouldn't really tell the difference, but you get the point. It's just a little crap ass flashlight on the back. Not very, not all that bright. Even the plastic front doesn't... Yeah, the whole thing's just... Alright, that's enough of that. EE thinks power will be restored. Well, so many people are without power. Storms are... See right here behind me, D. To get that power restored as soon as possible. A day of gusty winds and high rain is slowly turning into a dark night for the hundreds of thousands of customers without power. A little over. The vertical doesn't like to... They locked. There you go. Very noisy audio. Crazy as usual. All right, thank you, Jamie. Uh, a brief 
recap of our big story today, and that is new restrictions announced by the governor starting on this Wednesday, November 18th. Bars, restaurants, in-service closed. High schools and colleges must end their in-person learning. In fact, the Michigan High School Athletic Association... Mustard on that one, Ben. But Drew Brees' injury clearly significant. We look at Jameis Winston and everyone knocks him for all the interceptions he had. He threw for five thousand. Not a bad pitcher. That fine, that fine, fine text is pretty visible. I can. But he's a very, very capable backup. Read the fine text. Usually the fine text is harder to read. Like that scrolling text down there, I can even read that. Wow. Well, the radio is definitely not going to be okay. That's a pretty weak ass FM receiver. Wow. How crappy that sounds. That's as much as I can. It's as much as I can fine tune it in. Listen to how it sounds. And it's getting overload too from the local FM tower. Sensitive is it on AM? Wow. Uh, a little arrow down there, so where's AM 1440? That's AM 1440. Well, listen to AM 1440. That should be coming in the launch stream. Wow. So just for quick reference, I won't drag this on too long. I'm going to do a quick short way right now. We'll go down to. Right, that's pretty much the end of this video. Uh, today we went ahead and explored the mini personal television with the AM FM radio campers edition. And just a cheap Chinese crap plastic set. Uh, dollar store type dollar store type novelty item novelty item I guess. That's what you want to call it. And like I said, these were sold right up until the to the uh, DTV transition. And what I forgot to mention is I know I showed you, I showed you all a little earlier. I put some two, I installed two new caps on this side that the, well I didn't, I, I reinstalled because I took them out for this set. The, uh, I took out the two main power caps in front of the lineback transformer for this set. And I just quickly tacked them back in here real quick with the soldering iron. For, this for the purpose of this video and I was thinking I was going to ask you guys if maybe I, you wanted me to do an another video on this try to save this Chinese piece of junk uh, it's like a little white black and white monitor 
white white plastic white plastic crap chassis by Achiever. I don't know how much this is what like from the late nineties, early two thousands. I don't know how popular the Achiever brand was back then. I know the Remington build was pretty popular. These are manufactured by like a million different brand names. Same with the I don't know where I put it now, but the black oh it's same with the black television over there. The same thing with those. They were manufactured by like a million different brand names. I don't know, I thought maybe I don't know, let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see me try to resurrect or attempt to resurrect this piece of China junk. Uh here's the chassis which some some reason still has this C cell C cell batteries in there. I think it's got about six or six six or eight C cells, I think it's six. Can you remember correctly? Yeah, maybe I'll have to do this in another video. This is part of a security set I got at a garage sale like three or four years back. I believe it was summer of 2017. I know it was out at the lake. There was a temporary garage sale shop set up that I found this at. On where what's known as main, in the part of town at Sylvan Lake, what's known, what's, that's known as uh, Main Street, which is kind of the beachfront area. You drive down that whole main street there. Here's a CRT from it. Uh, if I remember correctly, this got dropped once upon a time. Fortunately, the safety evacuation nipple busted off. I don't know if I did. I show this already in the beginning of the video. Uh, but there's the look at the CRT. Most of these crap Chinese sets have the same CRT. They're all 14s s. They're all 14s x3 y4s. Um, so it's, and it's usually not that hard, to, usually not that hard to find a, it's usually not all that difficult to find a replacement, uh, for them, because these sets are friggin' everywhere, but, uh, yeah, that was the reason for picking this up, was I was gonna take it to, for the, strip the CRT out of this, and use it in this monitor, see, in this monitor to see if I can get it working again. And well, so far no luck. There's a power. There's a power failure issue in here somewhere. I got a bunch of broken tubes here that I've taken out of tube radios. Uh, in different uh, repair and res different repair resurrection videos that I've done, and they're just kind of sitting here on the table. So I don't want to just chuck these in the trash because they're kind of hazardous waste. Same thing with this. I'm, I know it's no good to keep, but I don't really want to. Chuck in the trash, I'm, cause it's hazardous waste, you know. And this ends up going to the land. Well, I guess it's gone to air now, so it wouldn't be too big of a deal. But it can still hold somewhat of air. I guess the air, the air is, it's completely gone to air, so it's I mean, it's no good. But that's kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of hazardous, hazardous e-waste. So. I don't know if the eBay station or the eco, eco station would accept this kind of thing. I don't know if they accept CRT tubes and broken vacuum bulbs. Other than that, I'm just going to go ahead and end off this video. Without further ado, stay safe, take care. We'll see you in the next one. 73 is all.